right, it's time to see what a Saiyan from another universe can do. Welcome back to the channel. We have Dragon Ball Super episode 37 today. And yes, the fight between Saiyan and Saiyan is set up. Vegeta having defeated Megeta in a pretty exciting match, actually, is moving on to the next round against, yeah, the Saiyan that Champa has brought in, who doesn't look that strong. But I, who knows? This tournament has been full of surprises thus far. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to drop a sub and let's hop into it. There's no way they could start the next match with it looking like this. We've seen that oh, Whis, yeah, and I don't know what the other Whis's name is. Name is i forgot but it's like it takes like no time for them to do anything no need to overdo it you got it oh yeah goku can still fight technically and technically manaka is still still available so let's not forget that guys oh no they're actually gonna end up fighting i said they would end up fighting i think at one point like i wouldn't be shocked if they're like the final match but they said if they did fight then the, like the universe would just collapse in on itself their noses like pushed together thank goodness everybody here was about to just perish the oh nice but it looks seen. bigger we thought limiting out of bounds losses would make for a more exciting tournament oh uh, oh it is no. bigger okay look at the size of this place that looks right. sick they're right though making the ring bigger would make for a more like exciting matches that's what i said at the very beginning i was like why is it so small why do i feel like this this saiyan is gonna get absolutely destroyed Kappa? He kind of reminds me of Goku when we first met him, huh? Where's the little arms? So this kid doesn't have a tail. See, but this Saiyan looked shocked at Vegeta's power. Like he's never seen that kind of power. That whippersnapper is a nice upstanding young man. Our Saiyans are what you might call heroes of justice. You said that about Frost. in our universe are based on a planet known as Sidala. However, they're hired to battle the bad guys and defend other worlds from oh, the force. Oh, like superheroes. You're telling me Saiyans actually work for a living over there? Yeah, on Earth, they just, it's like volunteer work. <laughs> I look forward to fighting you. He sounds like every anime MC ever. Like a typical isekai anime MC. Goddamn Deku type beat. <laughs> Kachan. Do you think that kid has the ability to turn Super Absolutely Saiyan not. Absolutely not. I have no faith in that kid. I'm going to be honest. I, I'm all for my boy. That guy's scared me though i will say that that guy terrifies me wonder why goku's so focused on that he can tell he can tell dude i can't tell which like how this is gonna go now here we go he's so small yeah but chamba wouldn't pick like a really weak fighter oh okay oh very fast damn he is young though. Vegeta's right. Maybe he may have like burned out already. Dude, that, that just hurts to watch. Now nah, he's yeah, he's already gassed, man. This kid has a lot to learn. Oh. He's it seems he's never been pushed through a real limit before. Which makes me think he doesn't have Super Saiyan. You mean that transformation you and your friend performed earlier? Yes. <laughs> what are you waiting for, kid? A handwritten invitation. I'm sorry. I, I can't. Don't know how. I'm begging you. Vegeta, sir. Vegeta, Teach sir. Teach me how to transform like you do. Maybe after this. On behalf of my family waiting for me back on Sadala. <laughs> I have to protect them. In case you haven't noticed. This is a competition. A fight yeah. Here. You disappoint me. Oh! In the midst of so disrespectful. <laughs> Why did Champa pick yeah. this Saiyan? Wait, see what? What did I see? Wait, what? Is Vegeta getting like tricked or something? Pull yourself a Saiyan! Bro, don't kill him, Vegeta. He's just a kid. Stop. Oh, no. Vegeta's going to put this kid on a villain arc. I know it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, like I said, he might push him to it, though. Maybe. Bad. I hope Vegeta isn't going back to the dark side now. <laughs> Vegeta turns villain in the middle of the competition. Brother. Given your extremely limited abilities, I'm surprised they even let you compete. That's what I'm so saying. Mean. I'm surprised Champa picked him. He's bullying this child no he's taking him to the brink so he will go super saiyan i think if you quit on me i will kill you god damn the rules the rules <laughs> he said what rules he wants to make him think he's gonna kill him yes oh well, the hair didn't change, but it was the exact same aura, like right before Vegeta goes Super Saiyan. There it is, baby. His hair is still short, but he's got the he's got the spirit. He's got it right. I think Vegeta wanted to pull it out of him so they would have a a, a real fair fight. Yeah, he's smirking. No shot does this mean Vegeta loses now. 
Now, this kid's not gonna be used to Super Saiyan form. Yeah, but he's fighting with like the fury of 10,000 suns. He's gonna wear himself out. This kid's gonna just get gassed. Yep. Oh, oh, never mind. Vegeta, don't get smoked like this. You wanted this. You could have thrown him out long ago. He's smiling. This is what he wanted. It's beautiful. Animation is actually pretty solid. He's just smiling. I think he's like proud. I don't know. Because he knows he can win. And he knows what he's created. What? Just stopped it? All right, that'll do. <laughs> yeah, he was kind of like training him. The best trigger for the Super Saiyan transformation is anger. Well, it's the easiest. I don't know if it's the most healthy or the best. Turn to a Super Saiyan. Get mad. What are you waiting for? I said turn. I'm going to kill your mom. He's not going to get it again right away. Oh. Look at that. You're a Stand corrected. Learner. So the reason you said all those terrible things to me was just to teach me how to <laughs> Other people may have doubted him, but hey, not me. <laughs> okay, Yamcha. So all that time, Vegeta was just training him. It would appear so. Good guy, Vegeta, actually, ways. though. Oh, and he's like, yeah, I'm still a step ahead of him. No worries. Oh, that draws intrigue from him. Okay, so he can straight up just go Super Saiyan Blue, which is God plus Super Saiyan. When in reality, couldn't it just be called Super Saiyan God because it's Super Saiyan plus God, so... Oh, that looks really powerful. <laughs> so I could do that too? Yeah, but not today, Squirt. <laughs> the OST. I let it activate you. Dang. Oh. Okay, so not those two like crazy. Wait, so there's only one fighter left. That guy, that crazy guy. Oh no. So we have Vegeta and Goku and Manaka. And they have him. I don't know, are we even gonna get to see Manaka fight, man? I, I want to. Surrender is an outcome far worse than defeat. Thanks. I won't tolerate that kind of weak behavior from a Saiyan. Yes, sir. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Never forget what you are, damn it. Where is your Saiyan pride? pride? He's what sending them on the path. I'll try to make myself stronger, just like you. Um, not to presume. Set your sights higher. <laughs> Aw, this kid is you so can't. wholesome, bro. I actually like how Vegeta's kind of taking him under his wing. You, surpass me. you know, the king of planet Sadala is a proud, strong man. In fact, you remind me of him. That sucks. <laughs> Will do. I wonder if that actually happens. Giving lessons to somebody out of the goodness of his heart? Well, he is a prince, <laughs> I imagine he must miss having his fellow Saiyans around, so that's why he embraced the opportunity True. to train one. Hey, wait, I'm a Saiyan. He's got me around. I'm not sure you have the same appeal. <laughs> yeah. well, I hope He's not I a do. blank I canvas. Like fine. <laughs> <laughs> Clueless. Oh, I'm Change worried. <laughs> contestant hit oh gosh man so his name is hit like h-i-t oh well, given his stature i'm surprised he even agreed to participate in this tournament it's well, for a reason I think it might have something to do with the fact i promised him a hexahedron if he should win oh like the teleporter can you just I'm make those be, he'll be able to go anywhere he pleases wait and like reap destruction but come on an assassin who can move at high speeds and never be caught yeah Sounds like trouble i think it's a little too late i love his bits so much his character design is sick and there we have it we learned a little bit more about the saiyan and i don't think too much shocked me about him because he seemed like a very innocent kid but the biggest takeaway from that episode was vegeta taking him under his wing that was really sweet actually because you don't see that side of vegeta very often because like you said there aren't really other like just young saiyans around for him to kind of mentor yeah there's goku but goku's at vegeta's level so they kind of match each other it's not really a hierarchy thing but i'm wondering if that saiyan's planet or just that like place in general is going to come up later on and if him saying you'll have to introduce me sometime was actually alluding to the fact that we will go there i hope so because i feel like a place with saiyans would be kind of cool to just visit and see how different it is in terms of the culture and everything in comparison to earth or how the saiyans used to be under frieza's wing but now i believe this is going to be sort of the main event because i don't see vegeta beating this guy from what we saw how he just kind of put frost in his place so it's going to be down to goku and Manaka. i i don't i hate to count vegeta out this soon but i'm kind of scared if you're new to the channel don't forget to drop a sub and i'll catch you in the next one his base.